The Order of the Holy Sepulchre of Jerusalem is a Catholic institution dating back hundreds of years. It has around 30,000 members, and its current headquarters is undergoing quite a facelift. EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Alan Holdren has more. The Cardinal Dominique de la Rovere Palace has a long tradition of beauty and nobility. Designed by the same architect that drew up the Sistine Chapel, the former residence of the Cardinal is today the headquarters of the Order of the Knights of the Holy Sepulchre. Designed at the end of the 15th century by Baccio Pontelli, the architect of the Sistine Chapel, the palace is one of the finest examples of Renaissance residences. Cristina del Gallo, together with Molica Gaetani, were tasked with rescuing these important frescoes from degradation. When we assembled the scaffolding, we realized that they were rebuilt in plaster, so the wood is only painted and with the water there were collapses, dangerous ones even, so we had to rearrange the beams by putting them in real wood and fixing, securing all the painted boards of the 400 that have been re-adhered with very strong screws and checked all of them in this room. The first thing we did was to secure the paint film, so we tried to extract the salts from the masonry that obscured the paintings as well as eliminated and absorbed the yellowish stains of the water that ran behind the wall. We discovered that under these salts there were very evident remains of the painting. For example, parts of an eye, a hand, very well preserved because it was painted on a wet plaster which then resisted the damage. We rediscover that under these mineral deposits, the color still exists. So the color has been rediscovered also because much was covered by the old restorations made in 1950. Before, the restorer was a painter, so he would repaint the missing parts. But now we only do conservation. So we clean it, we fix the color, we maintain it, but we do nothing else. The aim is not to see anything that has been done. The biggest compliment is if someone says to me, but you haven't touched it, you haven't done anything, because it's a job you shouldn't see. The frescoes were done by one of the greatest Italian artists, Pinturicchio, together with his pupils. The fact that the fresco survived such extensive water damage demonstrates its impressive quality, similar to those found in the Raphael rooms or even that of the Sistine Chapel. These magnificent paintings of the Renaissance with battle motifs in some way tie the past with the present and resemble the mission of the current owners of the palace who fight the battle for good. Thank you.